It's a simple rule, Signora. You pay in advance because we take all the risks. We kill, you're happy. But no money, no blood. I am not here to bargain, Kubilai. Just remember, the cargo is yours, the crew is expendable, but I want the ship intact. Mother? You look worried tonight. About Duke Grimani. Well, there are things you should know. I have put this off for too long. But it was... Mother! I know it hurts, sir, but you should get up and meet me in the lobby. I have important news from Duke Grimani. I am sorry, sir, but Duke Grimani has sent another message. He is urging you to... The ship. Were there any survivors? Please, accept my condolences. You are the sole survivor. Fishermen saved you. A miracle. Where am I? Whose house is this? It belongs to the Duke, who also placed me at your orders. Here is a letter of credit you will be able to cash at the bank. Some money for the day and a map of the city. A gondola is waiting for you outside. Isabella, the Duke's daughter, We'll meet you at the Café Florian. It's on Piazza San Marco. Hurry now. Café Florian, Piazza San Marco. Where to, sir? Piazza San Marco, please. Good evening. And a good evening it is, sir. Excuse me, what is the commotion about, sir? Oh, don't you know? It's the games, sir. Everybody's crazy about the games. How can people be so carefree when the city is under the threat of an attack? I don't want to talk about politics, sir. I fully trust our beloved Signora da Silva Lupo, and so should you. Who exactly is this Signora da Silva Lupo? Sorry? You really don't know? She's the leader of the Conservative Party, probably the most influential person in Venice. But who is talking politics? It's a matter of security. Believe me, sir. It is politics and nothing else.
I am looking for the Café Florian. It's under the clock by the Basilica. start a new life. And what will the young man be having, may I ask? So, this is the famous Café Florian. A daring combination of red and green. Ugh, rather nauseous, isn't it? Yes, we are all thrilled. It is called the vomit style. Very much in vogue in Paris, I hear. Has the Café Florian moved, or is it just me? No, sir. We moved because of the Venetian Games Festival. I'm looking for a lady called Isabella Grimani. Indeed, sir. And she is waiting for you. Please follow me. Signorina? Signor. Signorina Isabella Grimani? My name is Giovanni Giacomo Casanova de Sangalt, and I am at your service. Dear Giacomo, my father, Duke Grimani, asked me to bid you welcome in his name and to express his sorrow for the tragedy that struck you on that ship. I will avenge her death. That is certain. Then our causes are one. We're fighting against the perpetrators of those savage attacks. We believe they're but a link in the chain of mischief aiming at seizing the power over Venice, but my father will tell you about that. He's expecting you at the ball he's giving tonight at his palazzo. It's crucial that you come. I will leave an invitation for you here later on. Thank you. I'll be there. No, no, Giacomo. Thank you. We're counting on you. Now, Since for a moment, shall we talk about talk more cheerful things? Ladies. Of course. Have you tried the Venetian games yet? No, I haven't found the time. What's the point of competing? Well, it's all about reputation, as it always is in Venice. For young gentlemen, the games are a big step towards popularity. If they win, that is. And only one can win, of course. <laughs> you see, as grotesque as it may sound, winning the finale and the personality contest is a sure way to a high government position. Hey, you, peasant! Go to hell! What is the popularity contest? A jury of five ladies is selecting young men until the final day. If a gentleman is capable of pleasing them in their rather extraordinary caprices, his chances of winning are greatly enhanced. Shocking and perfectly decadent, I know, but... It's a popular tradition. What is the finale of the Venetian Games like? It's a compendium of all the games that are freely accessible during the festivities. The finale is only for the best ten gentlemen who were triumphant in the smaller games. As I've said, it's paramount to win the games in order to attain the highest social positions. Who is that drunken idiot? That's Marco, an impoverished nobleman whose rudeness makes it impossible to feel sorry for him. Are you referring to me, woman? And you, Clodhopper, you are sitting at my table. Your table? Ah, I see. A reversal of fortune meant that you had to sell your furniture to this makeshift cafe. How terrible for you. Uh, waiter, can we not return this table to Signor... Rogue? To Signor Rogue. You can rent it to him at least. Are you solvent? Crook! You really aren't helping here. If you are a crook, don't shout it from the rooftops. On my honor, sir, you will have to reply to this affront. I will reply to it wherever you please, but not on your honor, for it seems too slippery to fight over. Do not try slipping out of this with any more of your flourishes. Instead, join me on the Margarita dueling place by the Rialto Bridge. I shall be waiting for you. I shall be kind to your youth. A first blood duel will suffice. Don't count upon it. Bravo! Well done! Well said. Oh, now you've gotten yourself into a duel, Giacomo. Isabella, introduce your witty friend to us. Yes, Isabella. Don't keep him to yourself. He is really beauteous and courageous. Giacomo, those are the ladies of the personality contest jury. Let me introduce you. Ladies, allow me to introduce you to Giovanni Giacomo Casanova de Sengalt. 
Contessa Carmen Germana di Monreale e du Val d'Or. Vice Contessa Stefania de Polignac. Baronessa Giulietta Alessandra di Grasse Lotringen. Oh, what a well-built stud you've got yourself there, Isabella. Ciao bello. I'm, I'm glad to make your acquaintance, young Giacomo. How is life in the provinces? Dear Giacomo, don't mind my friends. They're just teasing you. We all look forward to seeing you at the Venetian Games. Isabella, take care of your fresh catch. And don't forget to invite us for a share. Honorable ladies, I am smitten and enchanted. Well, ladies, you will excuse us, but we have to go. Best wishes to you all. Giacomo, come back here later for the invitation. And, uh, it might be wise to visit Tybalt at the fencing school. He is the best sword master in Venice. His lessons are invaluable. You go there and just say, um, it is better to be feared than loved, if you can't be both. And the clerk will reply, every person takes the limits of their own field of vision for the limits of the world. Who is Tybalt? He's a grand man of high morals, the best fencer Venice ever had. He runs the finest fencing school in the Republic. It's a great honor to be taught by him. Where is Tybalt's fencing school? Board a gondola and go to Campo San Bartolomeo station. Look for a house with an entrance in the basement. In the words of the Virgin Mary, come again. When you get to the clerk at Tybalt's fencing school, just say this password. It is better to be feared than love, if, if you cannot be both. And he will reply, every person takes the limits of their own field of vision, uh, for the limits of the world. If he doesn't, leave the school as soon as possible. Giacomo, do me this favor. Before your duel with Marco, go to Tybalt. Then, if you get hurt, find a barber. Don't forget to cash your letter of credit and come back to the Café Florian later. I will leave an invitation for the ball with one of the waiters. Hop on a gondola and go to the Palazzo Grimani station. See you there, and take care. And you, sir, will you be our next brave contestant? Tell me the rules and the cost of the game. You have two chances to guess the number I'm thinking of. The number is between zero and ten. One game is five florins. And for winning, you get fifty florins. What about it? Are you going to play? Let's see if my wit serve me better than my luck. Here, five florins. Give me your best shot, sir! Four must be it. It's higher! Maybe nine. You were very close, sir. Another game, perhaps? Uh, that's enough for me, thanks. Very well, sir. Remember, no pain, no gain. <gasps> ah, welcome, young men. The fortune, the fortune, yes, yes. Three florins for the fortune. Here, three florins. The numbers. I see the numbers. Seven is the number. So are the address. You know, one, three, two, but seven is your 
lucky number. And you, sir! Will you be our next brave contestant? I know the game. Here are five florins saying that I can beat you. Give me your best shot, sir! Seven is my lucky number. Loessa! Is it three? You were very close, sir. Another game, perhaps? Uh, that's enough for me, thanks. Very well, sir. Remember, no pain, no gain. Clothes, clothes, clothes. Shoot the rabbit. A great game for gentlemen. What is this game about, sir? Rabbits pop up from behind, and you have to shoot them with the crossbow. If you shoot them all, you win 20 florins. Maybe I'll even throw in some junk I keep in the back. It only costs 3 florins to play. That sounds like fun. Here are 3 florins. Here's your crossbow. But be careful, they pop up faster and faster. Unbelievable! You shot them all! Twenty florins for you, sir! And take this rose before it dies. I would like to try again, sir. Here are three florins. Here, take the crossbow. Unbelievable! You shot them all! Twenty florins for you, sir! I don't need this cheap jewelry anymore, either. I would like to try again, sir. Here are three florins. Here, take the crossbow. Unbelievable! You shot them all! Twenty florins for you, sir! And this little doll. Gosh, I'm glad to get rid of that one. Goodbye. Exciting! New! Fantastic! You entertainment. can't lose at the Wheel of Fortune! You can't lose at the Wheel of Fortune! Yes, 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 what a brave young man! You certainly know how to handle a crossbow. Only three florins per shot. Here's the money. Splendid! Just take the crossbow and shoot when I spin the wheel. Incredible! Ladies and gentlemen, the young man over here just won the grand prize. Try it yourself. I've had enough for now, thank you. Come back soon. I'll keep the wheels spinning for you. I spin, you shoot. Learn the art of crossbow shooting.
Signorina? Signor. A lovely day, isn't it? And why do you find it lovely? Is it really any better than any other day? Or is it just that you didn't find anything wittier to say? You're right. It was quite pathetic. I'm afraid wits are not on the list of muscles one gets a chance to exercise here in Venice. I must have become rusty. Hmm. I see what you mean. Well, you are forgiven. And I sense you're not just an ordinary bore. Signorina? Signor. I'm sorry to bother you, but you seem so sad. Ah, oh, it's nothing, Signor. Leave me. I am the most boring person in this town. You? Boring? Oh, no. I can tell from your aura that there is a vibrating soul and a pulsing heart in that exquisite body. Oh, Signor. You know how to comfort the woman's turmoil. Oh, if I only had jewelry, gold rings. Thank you, sir. My vibrating rose, please accept these humble jewels I have acquired with great exertion. I am. Um... Amazed by your passion, sir. Station Palazzo Lucrezia. And where would you wish to go, sir? Blanca, please. Sir. I would like to cash in a credit letter. Of course, sir. May I see it? Here. Perfect. Here is your money, sir. Will there be anything else, sir? I'd like some of that thing you're giving away for free. What free thing, sir? I don't think there is anything here that fits this description. Why is there such a long line, then? Oh, that. Sorry, sir. Some of the people are panicking a bit. They want their money out of the bank. They're saying that the Mongols will attack very soon. And will they? <laughs> Nonsense. It's just propaganda from the Conservative Party. The Mongols are not a threat. Excuse me, sir, but recently I lost someone very dear to me because of them. I am sorry to hear this, believe me. The Mongols, well, of course, they are ruthless bandits, but that's all. Now we should not talk politics anymore. The guard over there is getting suspicious. What does the Conservative Party have to do with the Mongols? I suspect them to resort to fear to build up their power, but I might be wrong. 
Leave now, please. The guard... Good day, gentlemen. I am the infamous bandit Montoya. Give me the gold, and your lives will be spared. I don't want to die, please! Of course you don't, bank boy. So be quick and give me the gold. Let me present you with the alternatives. One, you can be a hero and die horribly. Or, two, you may give me the money and live long and happily. Do I really need to explain any further? I say, sir, move a bit so he won't see me and I'll give you my crossbow. You, Dandy! Where did you think you're going like that? Now what? I shoot and we all die. You want to think about it, Montoya? An interesting situation, I admit. But here comes the solution. Drop your weapon, both of you. But the lady's dead. <laughs> but, darling, it's me, Lucretia. Shut up! Can't you see I'm in the middle of the robbery here? Don't you think it would help a little bit if you could be a, a little more cooperative? Montoya, darling, this is the last insult from you which I will tolerate. I'm leaving you. And this time, forever! Oh my god, Lucy! What? Darling, I, I didn't... I mean, it's not... I mean... Uh, uh, come on! I'm at work! You know I'm a little grumpy. <laughs> could this turn out any better? Oh, yes. I am sorry we have to miss the end of the quarrel. I bet it's going to be lively. Station Banca. And where would you wish to go, sir? Campo San Bartolomeo. Rialto East, please. Signorina? Hello, cutie. What would you say if I plainly and very straightforwardly told you I really desire you? <laughs> wow. That's a little straighter. Why not, cutie? And how may I help you, sir? I came to see Master Tybalt. Really? Uh, there is no such person in here. Oh, yeah, all right. The password. Seven wolves landed in rainy Berlin. No, it's not raining in Berlin. You have something green in your teeth, darling. Oh, thanks. Uh, it is better to be feared than loved if you cannot be both. Master Tybalt awaits you in the room downstairs. Take the third door on the right. 